hello everyone let's have a look at set number seven i suggest everyone to solve this set by yourself then come back to this explanation video you can take the screenshot of this data and total there are five questions are there so now let's start solving this set let's read the data carefully in a class a group of students gave their seminar at science park which was conducted for two days monday and tuesday each student gave not more than one seminar on each of chemistry and botany what is the meaning of this statement everyone let me underline this each student gave not more than one seminar on each of chemistry and botany so it means that each student gave zero or one seminar on chemistry and each student gave zero or one seminar on botany okay everyone each student gave not more than one seminar on each of chemistry and botany means each student is going to give zero or one seminar on chemistry each student will give zero or one seminar on botany further each student gave not more than one seminar on each of monday and tuesday what is the meaning of this statement everyone let's have a look at it each student gave not more than one seminar on each of monday and tuesday means each student gave zero or one seminar on monday and each student gave zero or one seminar on tuesday okay each seminar was presented exactly by one student the following additional information is known about the seminar given by the students now let's read these statements everyone first statement is exactly four students gave a seminar on chemistry on monday and botany on tuesday second statement the number of seminars given on chemistry on monday is same as the number of seminars given on chemistry on tuesday okay and so on everyone so after reading this what we come to know that there are three type of students the first type of students are those who gave seminar only on chemistry second type of students are the students who gave seminar only on botany third type of students are the students who gave seminar on both chemistry and botany everyone so what we will do is let's form a table everyone so now look here there are three type of questions as i told you the students first type is the students who gave seminar only on chemistry so let's say out of those students a students gave seminar on monday whereas b students gave seminar on tuesday these a plus b are the students who gave seminar only on chemistry out of all the students who gave seminar only on botany out of those let's see c students gave seminar on monday and d students gave seminar on tuesday and there are some students who gave seminar on both the subjects chemistry and botany but as per these conditions everyone there is no any student who gave both the seminars on a same day a student can a student can give maximum one seminar on a day so there are few students which gave seminar on both the subjects chemistry also and botany also means there are two seminars so let's say there are e number of students who gave chemistry seminar on monday and botany seminar on tuesday and let's say there are f number of students who gave botany seminar on monday and chemistry seminar on tuesday okay everyone so now there is no any need of these statements so i will delete this part okay so now we will be reading these six statements and we will be forming the equations by reading these six statements so let's read the first statement exactly four students gave seminar on chemistry on monday and botany on tuesday chemistry on monday and botany on tuesday these four students are the students who gave seminar on both the subjects 
chemistry on monday and botany on tuesday so from this we can see that the value of e is equal to 4 look here from statement number 1 we can conclude that e is equal to 4 everyone okay now second statement second statement says that the number of seminars given on chemistry on monday on monday chemistry these are the a seminars everyone and these are the e seminars e students gave seminar on chemistry on monday so total number of seminars given on chemistry on monday is a plus e okay which is same as we are reading statement number two which is same as the number of seminars here which is same as the number of seminars given on chemistry on tuesday the number of seminars given on chemistry on tuesday is b and f so b plus f students gave seminar on tuesday on chemistry b plus f we know the value of e is equal to how much four so let's put e is equal to four here so from this we come to know that a plus 4 is equal to b plus f okay now we will be reading statement number three the number of students who gave seminar on tuesday how many students gave seminar on tuesday everyone b plus d plus e plus f this e and f gave seminar on both the days so how many students gave seminar on tuesday b d e f so look at everyone b plus d plus e plus f is equal to it's six more than the number of students who gave seminar on monday on monday how many students gave seminar a plus c plus e plus f okay e plus f gave seminar on both the days so if we solve this equation we will come to know that e plus f and e plus f will get cancelled out from both the sides so we will get b plus d is equal to 6 plus a plus c okay now we will read fourth statement statement number four the total number of seminars given by the students who gave seminar on chemistry we don't want total number of students who gave seminar on chemistry we want total number of seminars by the students who gave seminar on chemistry everyone so which student gave seminar on chemistry this a and b the total number of seminars given by a and b is one each that is a plus b then this e and f also gave seminar on chemistry and the total number of seminars given by e and f is 2e plus 2f which is equal to 20 more we are reading statement number 4 everyone which is equal to 20 more than the number of seminars given on botany on tuesday on tuesday how many students gave seminar on botany d and e everyone so these many students gave seminar on botany on tuesday that is d plus e so let's write that so now we know that a plus b plus 2e minus e is plus 1e and 1e is equal to 4 plus 2f is equal to 20 plus d everyone this is fourth equation or we can again rewrite this as a plus b plus 2f is equal to 16 plus d this is our fourth equation now let's have a look at fifth equation let's read fifth statement the number of seminars given on chemistry total number of student total number of seminars on chemistry is how much a plus b plus e plus f which is equal to eight more than the number of seminars given on botany that is c plus d plus e plus f everyone so over here e plus f will get cancelled out and we left with what let's have a look at it so if we simplify this this will become a plus b is equal to 8 plus c plus d everyone i will write sixth equation over here let's read six statement everyone the number of students who gave seminar on chemistry on monday 
chemistry on monday is this a and e a plus e students gave seminar on chemistry on monday everyone which is equal to two times of the number of students who gave seminar on botany on monday how many students gave seminar on botany on monday f and c everyone that is c plus f is equal to a plus c is equal to two times c plus f everyone okay here we know that the value of a is equal to 4 so let's put a is equal to 4 we will get a plus 4 is equal to 2c plus 2f so now we're done with all these six statements so let me delete this part so that we can solve these six equations and get the value of each and every variable hold on so now first of all let's try to solve these six equations and get the values of a b c d e f and then we will go to the initial diagram and then questions so what we can do here is in equation number two we can see a plus four and in equation number six we can see a plus four so let's use equation number two and six everyone by using both the equations we can see that a plus four is equal to b plus f and which is equal to 2c plus 2f so from this we come to know that the value of b is equal to how much 2c plus f after that what we can do here is in equation 5 and in equation 3 most of the variables are same so what we will do is let's subtract equation number 3 from equation number 5 look at equation number 5 minus equation number 3 so let me write these two equations so the equation 5 is a plus b is equal to 8 plus c plus d and equation 3 is b plus d is equal to 6 plus a plus c so now let's subtract these two equations so while subtraction we change the sign of second equation everyone so this becomes how much b minus b will get cancelled out so a minus d is remaining here is equal to 8 minus 6 is 2 c minus c will get cancelled out and d minus a is remaining so from this we come to know that 2a minus 2d is equal to 2 everyone that is a minus d is equal to 1 so now what we will do is a minus d is equal to 1 we got so now let's use this equation everyone in this equation we can rearrange this equation as a minus d plus b is equal to 8 plus c okay the value of a minus d is equal to 1 so 1 plus b plus 1 plus b is equal to 8 plus c so we come to know that b minus c is equal to 7 here Now what we can do is we can replace b with 2c plus f minus c is equal to 7 so from this we come to know that c plus f is equal to 7 so c plus f is equal to 7 let's use this relationship in equation number 6 so equation number 6 becomes a plus 4 is equal to 2 times c plus f so the value of a plus 4 becomes 2 into 7 so a plus 4 is equal to 14 so the value of a becomes 10 by using this equation the value of d becomes 9 okay everyone after that what we can do is let's take a help of equation number 4 okay everyone equation number 4 is a plus b plus 2 f is equal to 16 plus d so the value of a is 10 I can write b as 2c plus f plus 2f is equal to 16 plus the value of d is equal to 9 so from this we come to know that 2c plus 3f is equal to how much 16 plus 9 is 25 minus 10 is 15 now I can rewrite this as 2 times c plus f plus f is equal to 15 everyone so 2 times 7 plus f is equal to 15 so the value of f becomes how much 15 minus 14 1 so by using this equation we can see that the value of c becomes how much value of c becomes 6 and by using this equation we can see that the value of b becomes how much the value of b becomes 7 plus c 7 plus 6 that is equal to 13 everyone so now which variable is remaining a b c d e f 
so we're done with all the variables everyone so hold on now depending on this data let's try to answer these questions the first question everyone how many seminars were given in all okay by the students on both the days at science park so total number of seminars by all the students so over here a b c d these many students gave exactly one seminar each whereas e and f these many students gave exactly two seminars each so our answer is going to be a plus b plus c plus d plus two times c plus f this is equal to total number of seminars that is 10 plus 13 plus 6 plus 9 plus 2 times 4 plus 1 which is equal to 10 and 13 23 plus 6 29 plus 9 38 plus 2 times 5 is 10 that is equal to 48 is the answer of this question now question number 2 how many seminars on chemistry were given on Tuesday everyone hold on on Tuesday chemistry everyone the answer is B and F so how many seminars on chemistry on Tuesday the answer is B plus F that is equal to 13 plus 1 which is equal to 14 then question number 3 how many students gave a seminar on botany on monday and chemistry on tuesday everyone botany on monday and chemistry on tuesday means over here we are talking about the students who gave exactly two seminars botany on monday and chemistry on tuesday so the answer is f which is equal to one question number four is what is the total number of seminars given by students on monday on monday total number of seminars everyone okay the answer is a plus c plus e plus f total number of seminars given by the students on monday the answer of this question is a plus c plus e plus f that is equal to 10 13 4 and 1 sorry hold on the value of c is not 13 the value of c is 6 10 6 e is 4 f is 1 the answer is 21 question number 5 how many students gave two seminars at the science park everyone e plus f e plus f students gave two seminars each the answer is 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 this is how we can solve this set